Hi, in this tutorial we are going to learn another usage of the V-ray displacement. You have seen this kind of the models or material, all painted walls. As you can see, the painted paint uh, part is uh, paint material is already get old and uh, some place already uh, fall down and at the corners uh, some place is already bended and some place is just broken shape so we are going to create this effect you can uh, create this effect in two way one is that just put this picture as a material and use some bumps to make it more realistic however, however it is just good if you look at the wall from the far but if you are going to create something uh, more realistic uh, close up you have to model it so uh, usually people use uh, uh, small plants and tessellate them, broken them and uh, add some map and mass to them but we are going to use uh, just material and textures and we re displace to create this effect on the very simple plan such as this plan as you can see ok first we need to have a, a map uh, for creating this map there are a lot of ways you can just if you have a good quality picture uh, from the realistic from the real uh, old painted wall just can put it on the photoshop make it black and white and just uh, uh, let me actually show it to you uh, but I will show you by the procedural maps first then after you learn the technique you can uh, use your own ways so I need the procedural maps which show that some part of the wall is already broken some part is uh, the paint is already fallen down and some part is the paint is uh, actually the paint the layer of the paint is bent so I'm going to use the uh, noise procedural map and fractal the size is so big I would change it to 20 I need to change the height and low to make more crispy shape 0 0.6 0 0.59 the closest value and the level let's change it to 5 or 6 uh, sometimes these shapes are very smooth and sometimes are very uh, sharp so uh, I'm just in, if you want to get a more smooth just reduce it and if you want to make it a better shape just increase it uh, let's move it because I don't want those so big uh, part B uh, so I have this big white part and I will use this part as a some part that it will be the layer of the paint will be bent or same as here just some part is already fall down and uh, for the rest of this part the black part I will again add the noise map and this time I am going to use a smaller shape fractal not so crispy and the level of the 5 ok I need to change the white color again so I will add another noise to the white color a small size 0.7 and 0.69 to make a very small because I don't want we have so much uh, broken part so this is the final result and I'm going to render this because I don't want to use a procedural map I would use uh, I will use as a texture map and uh, I need to change some part in the Photoshop so I will render it with a big size uh, 2048 to 
let's render this and save it ok I have to save it and open it in the Photoshop so I'm going to work on the big uh, parts so use the magic wand tools and select the big parts which I want some part I can deny to select such as this very small or this one uh, because it has the corner so make a new layer and just fill this with the black color okay hide the background layer and also another layer totally let be black color so back to our uh, big pieces layer and apply outer glow white color make sure opacity is 100 and a spread I don't want to use a spread and just size increase the size we will have this soft uh, soft uh, glow but I want it to be uh, more crispy shape so I'm using the another technique precise and maybe reduce it a bit so this part will start uh, to come to uh, have a displacement we will have and at this part and the black part will be down so I will save this one and back to the 3D Max and apply the weary displacement 2D mapping using the texture map bitmap and the picture we just the image we just made it in the Photoshop I need to apply as a displace here and the amount of for this scene the, this amount is okay 0.1 centimeter and resolution same as our render and let's render this so you can see this part is already get the effect of the old painted and in this area already some pieces fall down before we move to the next part I need to apply a good material for this so I'm going to use the weary material and apply a color for example a green color our paint is green and for now I don't change anything else just apply it then I need to actually use a blend material for uh, the part that is already broken so I am going to use a very blend material keep it for the another part I will use the again another very material and I just use a white color for now we will just use a color later I will add the texture so for the blend amount I will use the our noise map so the big part inside and this small part will not be seen green will be seen as a white color so just render now so you can see uh, for example this is a old painted wooden uh, wall so this part this white color will be a lighter actually the wood, wooden parts so let's continue and solve some of our problems for example one of the problem you may face if I just increase it to 4 and zoom in this part render it again ok I increase this placement just to show you one of the problem that you may face is that this area will have a object actually we have a faces sorry but in the real world here there is no any faces if it was just a modeling we were able to uh, remove these faces but here is just displacement so I'm going to show you in the next step 
uh, how to how we can remove these parts uh, because here I'm using the small amount so I will not remove them here but for the another part which is creating these uh, layer this uh, bent layers uh, color layers so I'm going to use this technique so I back the displacement to the point one and I need another plan exactly in the same place so control V to copy not instance and I will change the name as a color layer whatever or color piece back to the Photoshop control uh, call down the control key and click on the our layer to just select those uh, big pieces again and uh, hide this layer and create a new layer I don't want all of them have this effect so for example I will remove some or oh, just this one is okay again fill them with the black color and control D to deselect them this time I will use the inner glow instead of outer glow so white color make sure opacity is 100 if opacity will be less so we need to increase our displacement map displacement amount so size and precise so we can move them as much as we want as much as you want it it be bent so for example here just this part will be bent or then you can see if you want we can move them so almost just uh, from the middle part they will be bent I don't want this so big part so I just select here and save as well back to the max uh, I will hide our first uh, layer the plan one just to see effect here and for this one I will apply the new one displace layer which we just created and let's see how it will look like ok you can see here just this parts which already bent it and I will increase it to two point and I will apply the new material for this just a white color here is the result and here is the time that we need to remove these extra faces which is between the bent uh, the edge of the bent layer and on the plan layer so I am going to use uh, first is that I need to use the same material for this for the color I will use the copy that in sense and second is that I will use the top and bottom material keep it so the top part is the green and the bottom part I just use uh, one color such as red because I just want to see it I increase the amount 2.4 to just see the effect later we will back it to 0.2 let's render and see the result so this is the result I need to play with the amount of the uh, position of between the bottom material and the top part top material I always use the local but it depends on you which one you are more comfortable so I will try different numbers such as 70 okay this is what we can see in the 70 we can try the different numbers also to find the best value so here this part is all red color what I will do is just go to the bottom material change the opacity to zero so if now I render the scene I will not see this red part so I already detach these two parts 
and now I want totally remove this plan because we have another plan behind so uh, just in the our top material the green part I will apply a map for the opacity which map the exactly the same map that we use for the noise or sorry I need to make another mask just select them new and uh, new layer and this time fill them with the white color again and layer mask so now if I render I won't have these plan behind and I just have the pieces so the next is just unhide the plan behind which was this one and render to see if it is actually we will face any problem or not well I'm going to face a bit problem in here because it is exactly on the white uh, on the another plan so in the next step first is that I will reduce it to two point and I will shift it move forward to very small amount or the big amount is depend on your scene you have to try different amount and render again and here is the result and finally here instead of using the white color as a uh, I, I use the texture wooden texture and use the same texture as a bump for the green color and uh, for this one for the coat material I use the uh, minus uh, the bump with the minus value and this is just our noise map just to make sure this part will also have a little bit distance so it is how you can create your uh, own old painted uh, material with help of the weary displays and as I told you instead of using these procedural maps you can if you have a skill in the Photoshop you just can open one of these old painted uh, materials and just use them uh, in the Photoshop just create your own uh, texture map